Welcome to another episode of Python for LEGO Robotics. Today, we're going to learn how to code Blast to swing a gigantic hammer. G'day everyone, my name is Mr. Code and we continue to look at Blast from the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor with Python today based on the activity Hammer Time from the Mindstorms app. You know, there isn't a science fiction weapon as brutally simple as the Warhammer. Uh, just a piece of metal on a stick that pulverizes everything in its path. And you know what? I feel like it looks cooler than holding a gun. But enough of that, because the reason we're doing this in Python today is because that Python is one of the world's most popular programming languages. You can use it to code a lot of real-world projects like apps, video games, websites, and of course the Raspberry Pi. And as always, I spend a lot of time making these videos, so if they help you out in any way, then please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. It is your support that lets me make more of these coding videos, so I thank you in advance. Let's dive right into the code for this project. So here we open up the Mindstorms app, and as you can see, the Mindstorms app has updated. This is uh, version 10.3.0, and uh, the activity we're doing is the Blast Hammer Time activity. So you go into Blast, and then you scroll down, download these further activities if you haven't already, and then you build the model for Hammer Time. So you click on Hammer Time, and then you follow the instructions to press the build button, and then you build this hammer attachment. Of course, you'll also need to have the blast robot, the whole robot built beforehand as well. But once you have finished building the hammer attachment, then you come back and we will do the Python code. So the way we do a Python code here is over here. So you can, uh, from the home menu, you can go into projects, click on the plus sign, then Python, and click Create. Now I want you to name this project Blast Python 3. So rename the project and call it Blast Python 3. Hit Save. All right, and let's jump right into it. Today we are going to blitz through this activity because we want our robot to be up and ready to bash things in as soon as possible. Here we create our object. So hub is already set to um, Mindstorm's hub. And then we're going to set our torso motor equals motor D. I'm going to uh, enlarge my screen a little bit. Hopefully that's going to be big enough for everyone to see. And then we're going to go hammer motor to be equal motor B. Just like last time, we're going to create our functions here. So we're going to define a calibrate function. This is to make sure that our robot starts in the same position each time you run the program. So torso motor dot run for seconds. I'm going to move it for three seconds at a speed of 50. And then torso motor dot run for rotations at 2.3 rotations and negative 50 speed. All right, so basically we are rotating our robot's arms and its head all the way to one side, and we're rotating it for three seconds, which is going to give it plenty of time to go all the way to the limits of one side, and then it's going to relax and then move back into the center by rotating two and a half, uh, 2.3 rotations back into the center, okay? We don't need this beep sound, but we are going to move our hammer motor. So here we go, motor dot run for seconds 
1 comma 100. This is going to move our hammer so that it's in this ready position for uh, bashing stuff in. And then we're going to calibrate our motors. So we've got to make sure that our, uh, our hammer is up before it calibrates because otherwise it'll be swinging around and it's not going to be very uh, effective. Hub dot status light dot on and we're going to turn his status light to red. Nice dangerous color to warn off any enemies not to stand in front of his war hammer. After that, we're going to go torso motor dot set default speed to 100 and then torso motor dot run for rotations negative 1.5. This just raises the hammer up from the neutral position getting ready to bash something in. And now in the scratch code, in the uh, uh, example from the Mindstorms app, so this is the uh, Mindstorms app, uh, it shows you that we, it's going to swing the hammer three times. So we're going to do exactly the same thing in Python, except we're going to use a Python for loop. So here, after we have raised our hammer into the ready position uh, before calibrating, and then once we have raised our hand, we are going to bash something three times. So here we're going to do a for loop for i in range three, colon. Make sure that uh, you look at these indentations, same as the calibrate function. Uh, you make sure that everything as part of your function needs to be indented underneath the function. Same with a for loop. A for loop is actually sort of like a function. Um, everything inside the loop that needs to be repeated is indented as well. So for i in range 3, go hammer motor dot start negative 100 torso motor dot run for rotations 3 hammer motor dot start positive 100 so just 100 and then torso motor dot run for rotations negative 3 and then at the end whoops at the end of that we outdent and then hammer motor stop dot stop super simple all right let's run this code and see how we go And that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed coding Blast with Python today. And you can download the program as always from the GitHub link in the description below. If you like this content, then please make sure you subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.